you so much for tuning into my channel. It's Lily and I'm here today to give you a tutorial. I chose Stacey London because I have always been a fan of hers. I've been watching What Not To Wear for several years and she just always looked really polished and just lovely in her um, with her makeup on. It's a great look for those that are going to work or to school or just wanting to kind of step out of the house looking very polished and pretty. Um, it's not a lot of product, it's just a lot of really pretty colors. Um, first of all, I want to say that my hair isn't done in the tutorial, so it is like freshly washed and everything, so it's all wet and damp and not looking like this. Um, I tried to do something with the hair. I just really wanted to make it look a little straighter than normal because I always have my hair curly now in my tutorials or in my videos. So I just wanted to look really healthy because she's got really fantastic healthy hair. So I tried to achieve that today. Um, and second of all, my lip color. Uh, she normally errs on the pink corally side of lipsticks or lip glosses. It's mostly glosses from what I can tell. Um, but I don't really have a really stunning, beautiful pink lip gloss, which is very strange in my collection. I have tons of peaches, but not a lot of pinks. And coral just looks absolutely ghastly on me, so I don't even buy that color. Um, so I decided to pair this look with a Revlon Lip Butter in the color Brown Sugar. It's very pretty, it's very neutral, and it will look great, good on anybody. Um, I like how it has a little bit of a gold sheen and it kind of plays off the uh, gold in the eyeshadow. So if you want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. Alrighty then, so I already have my base on and my left eye is completed. I'm going to take MAC's Naked Lunch eyeshadow and a flat shader brush and I'm going to apply this directly onto my lid not going above the crease. Sometimes Stacy has a matte shade on her lid. Um, that varies from time to time, but I decided to go with the shimmer just because it's a little bit more festive. Next, I'm gonna take my um, fluffy angled brush into the color Foxy, and this is from the Naked to Urban Decay palette, I'm applying that under the brow. Next, I'm going into the color Chopper with a fluffy crease brush. I'm going to apply this right into the crease. I'm going to just tilt my head back ever so slightly while looking down into a mirror to find the socket of my eye. And then I'm going to level my head so I'm looking straight into the mirror and I can decipher how high I want to bring that color on my lid or on my crease while my eye is open. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Tease and the same fluffy brush just to mute out some of that chopper shade just because it is quite shimmery and I don't want too much shimmer on my lid. Next is Booty Call and it's a very shimmery pink shade and I'm just gonna apply that with my clean pinky finger and with another clean finger, I'm gonna just blend that out. All right, liner time. So you can definitely just get away with using a shadow here, but um, other times she's wearing a very dramatic winged liner. Liner, as I say that with difficulty. So I'm just gonna wing it out ever so slightly, nothing too crazy. Just, and making it gradually thicker at the outer corner and thinning it out in the inner corner. All right. Curl your lashes and apply your desired mascara. I'm using Maybelline's Full and Soft for this look today. Next, I'm using this color called Pinched from NYX, and it's a beautiful pink peach shade, which is very similar to NARS Orgasm. And I'm just applying this to my cheeks. On top of that, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Peach Mosaic Shimmer Block and applying that on top of Pinched. Stacy never has a lot of contouring, so most of the time she just has a gorgeous cheek color, and that's what I'm just going to do is just really build up and play up the cheeks. All right, so off with the lips. Um, again, you can use a pink pink or corally shade here, but I'm going to err on the more neutral shade, and this is Brown Sugar from Revlon. It's one of their lip butters. Alright, so i got to clean up underneath the eyes because that's something I forgot to do, and this is MAC's Studio Finish Concealer in 
and C42, which has a very strong orangey undertone to cancel out my under eye circles. Now I'm using um, not only my finger, but a Real Techniques pointed foundation brush to blend out that shade. And that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!